I some of those characters in Candle Cove, I was drawing upon some of the visuals I'd seen. Ah, there's another inspiration for Candle Cove. I forgot about this. Um, the so you can find it online, and I've mentioned it in other interviews. But it was an Onion article. The Onion had an article a long time ago. It was titled, I think, it's like local man still has occasional Lidsville nightmare. Uh, Lidsville, which is a show I'd never seen, again, early 70s, a little bit before my time. But I guess these two guys, Sid and Marty Croft, they would do these puppet shows and stuff for kids in the 70s. And it was still a, like a nascent art form. So a lot of the technical stuff hadn't been worked out. And the, obviously they're very creative and they're trying to make this show for kids. And the shows are very popular and Lidsville is one of them. But they are ugly to look at and they're scary to look at. And there is an earnestness about that that scares me in that, you know, you have this media that you leave your child alone with. You could. I, you know, you're supposed to be able to leave your child alone with something like Sesame Street. But what happens if that thing betrays your trust as a parent, betrays the trust of a child? And it's like... You, it's like you lied to me. You told me this was going to be fun, and it is not fun. And moreover, why would anybody think this is fun? And so a lot of that sh those shows with that cheap aesthetic, it's like this weird betrayal. Like I, I, I feel like the the world is so foreign to a little kid that it's a more true version of terror or horror than an adult can fear, you know? Where we have our world pretty well defined, we understand things a lot better than a kid does. Uh, but it fascinates me. The, and the, the idea that somebody would think it's a good idea. And some of these puppets, I don't think I was drawing upon any specific aesthetic other than that Sid and Marty Croft. Croft is K-R-O-F-F-T, if you want to look it up. Other than what's cheap? What would look cheap? Like, and what would look scary? It's not, the intent of Candle Cove wasn't like, we'll make a show that's going to scare kids. It's like, it has to feel like it's earnest. Like, somebody genuinely believed this would be fun. And then it turns out that it is not fun, and the kids are crying. It's like having a clown at a kid's birthday party. God, the clown is a tragic figure. Why would anybody think clowns are good? Even if they're not scary, it's a boring <laughs> show. It's not an interesting show or fun show. It's so strange, a ritual. It's such a strange ritual. Oh, this is interesting. So as far as the laughing stock, which is the boat, I do remember that um, there was a character on one of the Slim Goodbody shows that was a book, I think, and it had this weird little mouth that was not very well articulated, but I think it was a foam, uh, you know, appliance that they pulled down with a string in the same way that like on MST3K, Gypsy's mouth works. They pull that big mouth down with a string with fishing line. And it just looks cheap. I mean, it's a way of hiding the, you know, it's a, it's like stagecraft where they're like, well, this can't look like it has a hand in it or we can't move the mouth with a hand. It's too small. So we'll do this and it'll look like the mouth is moving. But it's not a total solution. So it just looks bad. It looks like a mouth shouldn't move that way.